here in Cincinnati, Great American Ballpark in a city steeped in baseball history. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Cincinnati Reds. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So, almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Hunter Green. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time. High leg kick. Yeah, by the yeah, time the hitter good. sees it, it's right on top of it. Okay, all set to go. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. 0-1. First pitch at 1 o'clock. The pitch. Swings ah. through that one for strike two. Okay. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Left-hand hitter waits. Out there to center. And that'll get down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. Around second now, as they still don't have it. Donovan doesn't stop. Heads for home. Played the plate, and he is out. He tried for the inside to Parker, and he couldn't make it. Then here's Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, yeah. a big swing and a miss. Here's a oh, player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, though. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. And that one fouled off. 0-2 now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Foul ball still 0-2. One down, base is empty. Into center. Base hit as he pulls up short. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's McLean. Goes to second, there. safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty cool. He pulls it in. Two away. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's not a two. Got him swinging. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Here in Cincinnati, and on the hill, Sonny Gray. 
He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Yeah, ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Matt McClain. And he deals. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Gray, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slur. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Out of here. A solo shot. It's one nothing. that high fastball then look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time absolutely crushed that pitch so digging in Ellie De La Cruz always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning he swings and fouls one off the Reds signed Ellie in 2018, but it took a few years for him to stand out in their minor league system. In 2021, he went from an unranked prospect to a player on a fast track for the majors. Few scouts out there believe a growth spurt helped change Ellie's entire career. Yeah, the right hander deals. Huh? Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. Oh, on fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. That one ripped. It has the distance gone. It's their second home run of the inning, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2 0. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, the batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Touches down, that's a hit. Around first, digging for two. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. One down. Jonathan India at the plate. Lifted in the air out to left. Walker makes the play. Runner tags for home. Now he launches a throw over his head. Jake Frey, the next to hit for the Reds. Fought off foul. Two out spaces empty. And a swing and a miss. 0 oh 2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show.
All set for the start of the inning. Here's Nolan Gorman. The Redbirds in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown yeah, inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Oh, one. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 2. Bringing the cheese on that one. Kicks and deals. Banks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Jordan Walker. And a foul ball. Green, it is third season. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the second. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and there's two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Two outs, base is empty. Tommy Edmond at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Here's the swing and a miss. Yeah, we go beyond no just the uh, you know, fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece and stays alive. Look, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump and defense shouldn't either hitting wise you can struggle you can lose your mechanics but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way and this is what this guy does that one what almost two? got him Soft contact in the air. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Redbirds down quietly. They trail in this one, 3 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. Greg, back to work. Now fly ball to right center. Edmund going after it. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. There he is coming through with a knock right there. I like the fact that he can pick him up and put him down a little bit. First baseman are known for the speed, but see him get that extra base hit there. Now he's in scoring position. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. And base hit. Encarnacion Strand around third. He'll score easily, but it's 4 nothing. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Everything came together for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty far through the infield, so I think he'd be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. the center fielder will Benson swings yeah. through that one 0 and 1 0 oh, 1 
Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Comes up empty. And played umpire Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, Boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. One out to right. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. And a swing and a miss there. So here's Only a fun note on Ellie. He became the youngest player in high A ball to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game, and it gets better. He did it again two games later. Those are the type of games that tend to get you promoted in the minors. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Stevenson at third. McLean at second with one run. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Oh, and no! And they add to the lead. It's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. these fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again now the left fielder Spencer Steer he's already homered in this game part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage One out, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the now zone right down. there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. On the ground, and that one handled. To first, ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. Reds get three on this long ball. It's now 7-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark, on to the third inning. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Wynn. Here comes a pitch. Back up the middle and a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So now here's the DH, Brendan Donovan. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two.
Ground ball left side could be two. After that. De La Cruz to second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. One for one with a single so far. That one oh. outside. And that's ball one. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One and two is the count. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that should be extra bases. Donovan around third. The throw to third, and he's out trying for three. But one run is in to score. So they're down to their final out. Lars Newtbar next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Rip to short. Snagged on a bounce. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Reds take this one in a blow. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. A good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Final line score for our ball game the second.